Hi there. Uh, two more lamps in the what I would call the cheapo range. Um, to my mind, one of them is a little bit naughty. If you look at this box quickly, you would think, ah, that's made by Os Osram because it's got the similar way the name is put on the backing of a sort of an orange background. And also, if you look at the name, Flight, which if you looked at it quickly, you'd think it may have been made by Phillips. Anyhow, I'm not going to say more. Uh, I'll leave that to your imagination. It is one of our cheapo ones. Um, it's one which I picked up a while back. There's the name, Qigong Lighting. I've never seen them since. Lux Blanca means, yes, it, it's white, so... It, it was sold, as far as I know, it was sold over here. Electronic fluorescent lamp. Eco control. Economy. Sounds good. Shows what it will do. Eight, one thousand hours to eight thousand. The comparison. Um, the whole box does very much look like an Osram box but as I said before I'm not saying anything else there's the price I paid for it £1.99p it um, actually shows the bayonet cap but it's not, it's a screw anyhow that's that one, I'll light them up later the next one we have is made by a company called Norsland and look at the way they show the name. That is very crafty. Have a look at the trademark for Osram lamps or Wotan lamps, which was the same company. I think you may notice a similarity there. It's a very, very similar trademark and it looks like it has been done to deceive. But there we are. I'm not say, saying anything more about that. I'll leave that to everyone's imagination and opinion. It's got not suitable for emergency lighting, dimming, no dimming, not suitable to damp. It's all common sense stuff. Not suitable to sealed lanterns. This is because it could probably overheat and mess up the electronics. This cost me a lot of money as well. Look, one pound seventy nine. I would think that probably both these lamps have come out of the same factory in China or Hong Kong. But I add it because it's interesting to see how it's a, it's a look-alike to some other makes. They're obviously sold around the world. Standard packaging, 110, 130, 220, 240. The different bases... And all they do is just tick what is appertaining. It's a white one. Anyway, I haven't tried these for a while, so I hope they still work. Let's try the Nors lamp. There we are. That is a daylight lamp. Bluey white light daylight. Ideal for keeping uh, tropical fish under it will bring the nice colours of the fish up you could mix it with say a uh, warm white and that will almost give you a full spectrum anyhow that's the lamp of light we'll start her up again to see what happens mm. pull the right plug out that is that's her off on now fairly quick starting anyhow let's have a closer look at the bulb outwardly it looks well made I always say credit where credit's due it does look well made the base is a little bit flimsy but not that bad I've seen worse Norseland 220 volt it's a 22 watt bulb 
nothing else on it. On it. it doesn't even say where it's made, but uh, I would guess it is probably China. Quite a light lamp. It's very fairly light for what it is. Anyway, that's the Norris lamp one. Let's pop in the one made by for light, which, as I said, their box is very reminiscent of an Osram box. On the correct voltage, so right, and that too is also a daylight, it's a daylight blue. And it's uh, I'm, off, I'm on the, the correct voltage, and as you see, it is flickering. It's on the correct voltage, and that's lower now, it's actually flickering. So it's um, the internal wiring is probably not up to the normal standard. How long that would do that for, I don't know. It would drive me mad if I had to use that as a permanent light. But there we are. That's the bulb by flight. Let's, uns let's see what happens if it starts up again. Is it going to do the same? Yeah, slow down a bit. You occasionally get this. I don't know what it's called, but in normal tubes you sometimes get like a cycling of light twisting round the tube. Normally if the tube's new it does that. So it's probably nothing much wrong with it. Let's try it again. There we are. Let's put it down to the fact that it's the newness of the lamp and not a manufacturing fault. Let's have a closer look. I don't know what I've showed this before. I don't think I have actually. There's the trademark which doesn't resemble any, anyone else's trademark as far as I know. Flight CE which could be printed on anywhere so you know the fact it has that name on it CE doesn't necessarily mean it has been accepted for Europe. I would, I would sort of Look at that and think, well it may be, it may not. It's got your normal range. The cap is not badly made, it's not a it's not too bad, it's well fixed on. The actual lamp itself looks fair. Three loops. Anyhow, that's all I've got to say for those two. Comments welcome. Um, please subscribe. Please have a look. And once again, I thank you. Thank you.